So that was Something in My Heart by Michelle A. And uh, we'll get started. Now, this is a very, very beautiful song. Very melodic, uh, very strong jazz emphasis and bass. So let's get started with the chords. Now, there's a lot of room for improvisation. Uh, if you would so like, I suggest it. So you can definitely experiment with the sound. So this is definitely a, an R.B. throwback classic, period. It's a great song. So let's get started. The first chord we play, and you hear that sax intro, you know what's going on. And the groove is, is not rushed. It's very powerful. So you take your time with these, uh, this song. So you have a D major 7th. I'm playing in a lower register uh, because I want to uh, emulate the, the what I hear in the piano track or the keyboard track on the song. So like I said, I'm starting off with D major 7, D, A, D, F, sharp, A, and C. Now I can easily expand that to a, a D major 9th if you so are inclined to do so. So let's just start with the easy one, D major 7. Next is C sharp minor 7, which is C sharp, G sharp, C sharp, E, G sharp, and B. Then we have the F sharp major, F sharp, A sharp, C sharp, F sharp, A sharp, and C sharp. And then we change it up a little bit. With the E flat minor, which is E flat, B flat, E flat, G flat, B flat, D flat, and F. I want to make this simplified and just I just say E flat minor. Uh, technically, we're doing a little bit of a change of key, but it's okay. Um, so we have the E flat minor, and then we resolve that by going to E flat major root position. That little soft touch that you hear in the song right at the end of the of the bar, which is basically E flat, E flat, G, B flat, and E flat, a root position, E flat. So the groove, without adding any further explanation.
then you can add your own little elements to it. And then the bridge, again, is, is pretty straightforward. Uh, we have the B minor, 7th, B, B, D, F sharp bang. And straight up 7ths right here. You have C sharp minor 7th, C sharp, C sharp, E, G sharp, and D, or B. I'm thinking of the next chord in my head, which is <laughs> D major 7th, the first chord that we learned earlier in this uh, progression. D, D, F sharp, A, C sharp. Then we have E major. Now you can substitute, or not substitute, you can add the 9th up here. Or not the ninth. You can have the seventh. That doesn't sound as smooth to me, but if you want to experiment with it, that's fine. And then there's an option that I played earlier. It's basically an inverted C sharp major or C sharp minor chord, where it's under the second version, and I'm just playing very quickly. I'm going E, G sharp, C sharp. And then back to F sharp minor or F sharp major, F sharp, A sharp, and C sharp. And then go, we go right to the chorus. I'm not even going to make a fool of myself and try to sing this song out loud in front of human ears. So you know the words D sharp or D major, C sharp. F sharp, major, E flat minor, major, got me hooked on you, and then she goes up in higher register to the E flat, such strong inflection and powerful, powerful presence in her voice, so it's a very beautiful song. The keys play a little bit behind her, so it's not matching her uh, in terms of the exact beat. So it's a delayed effect. So there is Something in My Heart by Michelle A. Thank you for watching.